Hey guys, I just woke up. I gotta get on my Japanese test. I got two of them. They're gonna take two hours each. So I just got four hours of tests in a day. And then I got a little bit of Japanese homework I got done. But the boys are coming over around 1.30. It's currently 9 a.m. Uh, I wanna go to church today. And I'm trying, I'm gonna try to grind out at least one test, go to church, maybe come back, lift, and then do another test. Cause like they're due at six. So I need to leave myself enough time to be able to like use the whole time of the test. But I'm ready for them. I'm just trying to try to get them on the way. And I got a little bit of Japanese homework to finish up. So busy day ahead of us, but we're going to get this shit done. So let's get on it. Just finished my grammar and sentence structure for Japanese test. Uh, it took like hour 30 to finish that. So not too bad. I'm about to get in there and finish my oatmeal and then get on my oral test. I didn't make it to church, however, because it's like 1030. I don't have enough time to make it there before service starts uh, in 30 minutes. And I haven't even showered or got ready. So I'm going to finish up that test. And then after that, it'll be about time because Quinn's going to show up early and I need him for my spot. So it'll be about time to go down there and work out with him around one-ish. And then after I get done with all that, I will hit back up my Japanese work. So overall, making pretty good progress. I uh, wish it was a little bit faster, but there's nothing I can really do about it. You know, it just takes time when it comes to like that much material. There's just so much material to go over. But I just fed rat, uh, rips on the scraps from last night from Outback. <laughs> so I'm having two packets of oatmeal today because I want to carb load a little bit. I'm thinking about Max and I'm going to try uh, 415 on bench today. Will I get it? I don't know. Uh, you know, obviously I'm not going to go for it if I don't feel right. So it's going to really be up to my mindset, how focused I am, and if my body feels good and up to it. But I've really tried to set myself up for a PR today. I PR'd on a, a rep. I got a rep PR last week. I think I got nine reps for a 315. So I'm pretty stoked. I, I had a good, I was going to go light. Uh, my last bench session, it was supposed to be my light day, but I went a little heavy and it was just moving fluid. And I, I was just, I resisted the urge. I didn't go over, I think like 365 that day. So uh, I was only supposed to go up to like 275 and work on, you know, speed and intensity. But hopefully I didn't shoot myself in the foot and, you know, maybe we'll get a PR today. We'll see. So I got done with my tennis around like, one o'clock and it's about one twenty right now quinn's down there he's been down there since 12 30. i'm gonna go down there and get a spot uh bo's on his way tom is not going to uh come he got called into work and blake is probably going to be sleeping off a little bit of uh his little evening last night so i don't think he's, blake's going to show up but it'd be really cool if he does i'm still pretty psyched i think i'm gonna hit 415 today i think i get my adrenaline up enough for it but uh I usually read like a Bible verse every day. And today's verse was Romans, I think it was 1221. And it was like, uh, be not overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. And that that's really true in today's standard because like a lot of people are so like just negative and just, there's a lot of evil in the world. And it, it's really hard to combat that. And sometimes you're like, well, why can't I do what they're doing? Why can't I, if they're gonna do me that way, why don't I do that to other people? And it, it's just not the right way to do it's not, it's not going to rectify it. You're not, you're not better in anything. You're just continuing the domino effect because you keep on doing it to other people and then they're going to feel like you are at that moment and they're going to keep doing it, you know? So it kind of has to stop with you and you kind of like got to make an example for others. Uh, it's just uh, some food for thought. That's what I got out of it. Now other people can get, you know, different meanings out of verses. So uh, just wanted to put that out there.
Yeah. Oh fuck yeah. How you feel? I feel freaking good. I feel freaking fuck good. That's Post great, 415. That's a good guy. All the energy. Up there in Mississippi, baby, right there, bro. Body uh, weight wise, holy fuck. Definitely <laughs> not, but uh, without these guys, I definitely would have hit that shit. Energy was immaculate on that shit. Felt light in my hand, but it looked like I had to. I don't want my left hand to catch up. Put that shit in fucking four wheel drive, and we got it though. Yeah. For real, we're doing that. We're doing PRs on a bent ass bar too. <laughs> Old ass fucking bar. <laughs> this bar is going us since like we fucking started though. Like, yeah. there's no telling how many PRs have fallen with that fucking bar. I know. Hundreds for sure. That's yeah, more, more definitely. Fun too. Definitely work on W. <laughs> Real? I got a glue pump every day. But what do you think about my legs? I kind of fucked up and I had to shave them like clean, bro. I look fine. You think they look bad? No, they don't look bad. <laughs> Damn, what the fuck is that? What? What is that big ass fucking scar? Bro, that's where I got uh, stabbed. Man, bro. <laughs> you want to feel it right there, bro. Yeah. Damn, this spot is so good. I still like to keep doing this shit. Bro, I bet that shit's so fucking know. tight. <laughs> Come on, Blake. Hop, hop in on this shit. Right. We got to spot him. We got to spot him. We got to have him with his mind muscle connection, Give me a spot. Bro. Give me a spot. Oh. <laughs> ah. Oh. Yeah, bro. What's up? All right, what are we about to go do, Blake? I'm about to go check out this uh, little building. See if it will uh, fit for a good gym, bro. Yeah, what you been doing up today? You kind of sh showed up a little bit late. Yeah, man, I, I woke up, slept in a little early, uh, went to a birthday party last night, and uh, vibed out, had a good time, hung out with some bros, and um, had to get a hotel room type type deal. You know how that goes. Yeah, it sounded like a good night, though. Yeah, oh, no, it definitely a good night. Nice ass car. I ain't rode in this car in forever. This shit's so sleek. We just pulled up. Bo's already here. We're gonna go check this out real quick. Okay. Ooh, okay. Okay, the vibes in here though. And don't let me forget to cut the lights off. Shit, they already packing shit up. They gotta be moving out sooner than that. I don't know. Kind of look, kind of vibey. I like it. Also, these, this glass looks pretty pog for glorious as a game. Stage. I don't. I can't remember. You better like get on it. 
Oh yeah, it's, it's a competition or something right there. Yeah. It fit somehow. Damn, this shit been here for a minute, bro. This shit look like ass. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but this shit about to get fucked up. I just fucking love that mayonnaise and fake tuna, bro. Oh my goodness. So me and the guys look at that place. It was really nice. Uh, we're, we're thinking about getting it. We really are. Uh, it'd be really nice to have like a gym that close. It's got a good location. The expenses aren't going to be just too terribly bad, especially for starting up. And being such a small gym, I think it'd really be immaculate if we got that spot. But outside of that, I uploaded my 415 bench press today. This is amazing. I really appreciate every single one of you guys. Look at this. Literally posted this like 10 minutes ago. Already a thousand views, 61 likes. Like I am truly grateful for each and single, every single one of you, bro. Like this means so much to us that you're enjoying our content and who we are. This is amazing. Let's fucking go, let's fucking go. About it, baby. All right, so we're going to Walmart right now. We're going to get some uh, sirloin. I'm going to make some kebabs. He's probably going to grab some avocados. Oh, absolutely. Gonna I'm, I'm looking at the bro. cheese. I'm going to see if we got some cheese and stuff. We're going to have a nice little like spread. I think it's going to be really good. What was that good cheese you got it. last time, bro? Right, it's, 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 it's smoked Gouda. It's smoked Gouda. Gouda. Oh, oh, it was, so it was more cheddar. Is that white cheddar. Like, yeah. it didn't have any. Like, no, I think I like the Gouda, bro. I the, Gouda, like, the Gouda slaps, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been, I've been low-key. I've been grabbing me a small little cheese wheel every week and like kind of nibbling on it with uh, crackers. I don't know. It's, it's a good little healthy snack, though. Cheese, bro. definitely. I stay taking, like, some salty crackers and some avocado, bro. Yeah. Bro, I stay doing that, like, That's every what I did. Day. When I got in, and, like, I was just doing my work and studying, yep. that's my snack. Like, cracker and avocado, and I just, just get raw. And I'm, I'm, I've been putting a little yeah, salt. Yeah, no, exactly, bro. Just a little bit of salt. I, I do, like, this, uh fucking checkered cut and then i diagonal cut it yeah you cut that shit crazy bro that shit perfect like bro. i i'd be a i'm a fucking animal bro i just scoop that shit out <laughs> i can't even get it to like the cracker will break on me every time i try to scoop well, I, no i use a spoon i scoop it out uh, and i put it in a bowl you, and i kind of like chop it up just a little bit yeah make it easier to just dip but for sure anyway we gotta go walmart grab some shit real quick and we go go back fire the grill up hell yeah real shit yeah i was, I was doing the same shit Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I just realized it says it's harder, harder than steel. Oh, yeah, bro, look at all this damn meat, bro. Got hella meat, got smoked gouda, got some crackers, got avocados. Bro, we chilling. Whole plate of guac. Straight up. This avocado is basically guac. <laughs> got a big pile of meat. Yes, I gotta put this shit on the grill. Cause like when, when the trio hit, I mean the fucking, what is it called? <laughs> That's solid, bro. That's good. Bro. Mm. Good combo. Bro. That's hitting, bro. I don't know what she's wearing that for, but it's obviously really like beauty stuff. Just got everything posted on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube as far as my PR is concerned. Uh, so far, really good turnout, especially on YouTube Shorts. Uh, the allegations are already starting to roll in, which I think are kind of funny. And we could definitely debunk those in another vlog. I think it'd be hilarious to, like, grab the weights and get on the scale. And just be some, like, good times, good content. Uh, I got my homework done around, like, 11.30. I finished that shit up. And I'm probably not going to study tonight. I'm about to just get my shower. But I'm skipping tomorrow. I'm still in Fulton. I didn't drive out to Oxford. Just because I'm going to study, I got a lab practical this week, and I really just got to hit the books. I've been doing so much, like, busy work and homework that it's become ridiculous. I don't even have time to, like, really study a textbook throughout the week. I'm talking about there's hours upon hours of work that I just do. So, anyway, I'm about to get my shower. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching this vlog and the support. It really means a lot to me and to the Glorious House of Gangs as we're really trying to build something. 
we're trying to drop merch uh at summer so uh we're definitely over spring break we're gonna get our designs finished up get our product line in order and go ahead and start stocking up and then we'll start leaking it and then we'll drive it around summer so i can't i'm so psyched for that and we looked at a building uh to maybe buy and convert to a gym today and it's just uh it, it's really it, it's moving and i'm so grateful and i can't wait to see what it turns out to be just went in there and saw the remains of what Blake's feasting was left. And uh, we, we completely demolished that. It was really good. Steak turned out good. We had cheese, uh, guacamole, or it was actually just raw avocado. But it was so soft. It was so nice with those crackers. It just all went well together. And uh, Blake stayed a little bit later than normal, but that's fine. We had a good time. We had a good conversation and talk. Uh, Chris had to go home because she got 8 a.m. And I'm skipping my 8 a.m., like I said. And I'm very grateful for Krista because she run me a sam Subway sandwich like right after I got done working out. So I, I, even though I wasn't able to eat it immediately, as soon as we got done looking at the building, I came back, I demolished it. And uh, I'm really grateful for her because she's able to understand that like, I got to commute to college, I'm busy. And so she understands that I, I'm grinding, you know, I, I'm on top of shit. So it's just always nice to have someone in your corner like that.